Anesthesia Provision in the United States, Wikipedia Article Audio In the United States, anesthesia can be administered independently by physician anesthesiologists or by nurse anesthesiologists. Anesthesiologists are physicians or advanced practice nurses specializing in the practice of anesthesiology. Anesthesia Providers Anesthesiologists The training of a physician anesthesiologist typically consists of four years of college, four years of medical school, one year of internship, and three years of residency with an option one-year fellowship training in anesthesia subspecialties. It is the highest training level for all practitioners delivering anesthesia in the United States, however, while most do, passing a comprehensive board exam is not required. It is not required to be board certified in the USA in order to practice anesthesiology. Physicians who have successfully completed training in an ACME accredited program become board eligible at the time of graduation and may practice anesthesiology until board certification is attained, commonly within one year post graduation. The majority of physician anesthesiologists practicing in the United States are board certified. According to an American Society of Anesthesiologists press release anesthesiologists provide or participate in more than 90% of the 40 million anesthetics delivered annually. Other specialties within medicine are closely affiliated to anesthesiology. These include intensive care medicine and pain medicine. Specialists in these disciplines have completed training in anesthesia including a three-year residency in anesthesia with an additional year in an accredited fellowship in a sub-specialty of anesthesia. Anesthesiology is not limited to the operating room. Physician anesthesiologists are termed perioperative physicians, and are involved in optimizing the patient's health before surgery performing the anesthetic and associated procedures, following up the patient in the post-anesthesia care unit and post-operative wards, and ensuring optimal analgesia throughout. Some subspecialty physician anesthesiologists are an integral member of the critical care team in surgical intensive care units and manage complex surgical patients throughout their hospitalization. Nurse anesthesiologists are advanced practice registered nurses specializing in the provision of anesthesia are certified registered nurse anesthesiologists. As of 2018, CRNAs represent 50% of the anesthesia workforce in the United States, with 52,000 providers, according to the American Association of Nurse Anesthetists and administer approximately 40 million anesthetics each year. 34% of nurse anesthetists practice in communities of less than 50,000. CRNAs begin their education with a four-year Bachelor of Science degree approximately one year of critical care nursing experience and complete the CCRN certification. During three years of graduate school focusing on anesthesiology, they practice to complete a doctoral degree in nurse anesthesia and must pass the NPCRNA National Certification Exam. CRNAs care for patients pre, intra, and post-operatively and practice in all facets of anesthesia care. They may care for patients independently or collaboratively. Some choose to narrow the focus of care to subspecialize in the provision of cardiac, pediatric, pain, or obstetrical care. They perform all types of anesthesia care including general endotracheal and neuroaxial, as well as perform advanced intravascular access as needed. Nurse Anesthesiologists As of 2014, 17 governors opted out of the CRNA supervision requirement of the Centers of Medicare and Medicaid Services. 
The remaining states maintain that CRNAs must work with podiatrists, dentists, anesthesiologists, surgeons, obstetricians, or other professionals with similar anesthesia training. CRNAs administer anesthesia in all types of surgical cases, and are able to apply all of the accepted anesthetic techniques general, regional, local, or sedation. Nurse anesthetists are able to practice anesthesia independently in some states and often form independent, cost-effective, anesthesia service groups with safety equal or surpassing public standards of care. CRNAs also work as well in anesthesia care teams. Anesthesiologist Assistants Anesthesiologist assistants are another group who participate in anesthetic care. They earn a master's degree and can practice only under anesthesiologist supervision in 18 states through licensing, certification or physician delegation. Anesthesiologist assistants' responsibilities in the ACT settings are more restricted than those of CRNAs and they cannot perform independent anesthesia services. Effective November 13, 2001, CMS established an exemption for certified registered nurse anesthetists from the physician supervision requirement. This exemption recognized a governor's written request to CMS attesting that he or she is aware of the state's right to an exemption of the requirement for CRNA to be supervised by a physician trained in the provision of anesthesia. The attestation recognizes it is in the best interests of the state's citizens to exercise this option in order to provide safe, cost-effective, valuable anesthesia services and especially helps assure provision of those services to all citizens. As of September 2014, 17 states have chosen to opt out of the CRNA Physician Supervision Regulation. The states are California, Iowa, Nebraska, Idaho, Minnesota, New Hampshire, New Mexico, Kansas, North Dakota, Washington, Alaska, Oregon, South Dakota, Wisconsin, Montana, Colorado, and Kentucky. According to the ASA statement on the anesthesia care team, Anesthesia care personally performed or medically directed by an anesthesiologist constitutes the practice of medicine. According to the American Association of Nurse Anesthetists and state law in all 50 states, anesthesia care provided by a certified registered nurse anesthesiologist is considered the practice of nursing. Certain aspects of physician-directed anesthesia care may be delegated to other trained and credentialed professionals, including anesthesia assistants who require anesthesiologists' supervision. Anesthesia Supervision It has been established that, under U.S. law, anesthesia is both the practice of medicine and nursing. Frank V. South Chalmers Francis v. Nelson and other court decisions determined that anesthesia was the practice of nursing as well as medicine. As such, the practice of anesthesia in the U.S. may be delivered by either a nurse anesthesiologist or physician anesthesiologist. The decisions have not been challenged since the Dagmar Nelson case. In addition to legal decisions, individual hospital and surgical facility policies also regulate the granting of anesthesia clinical privileges and are often based on contractual agreements with provider groups. Anesthesia Care Teams Law Regarding Anesthesia Provision